Hello and welcome, my name is Lucas Lechuga and I'm your host of MiamiRealEstate.tv. Today I'm at the recently opened sales gallery of 1428 Brickle. I'm very excited about this development because the attention to detail, which you'll see in a bit, is remarkable. It's hands down the best I've seen in a very, very long time of ever. And in a bit, I'm gonna be meeting up with my special guest, Jennifer Zavera, the in-house sales executive of the development to learn all about it. Hello, welcome to the show. Seated to my right is Jennifer Severa. She's the in-house sales executive of 1428 Brickle. Welcome, Jennifer. Thank you so much, Lucas. Welcome to you. Thank you. And so tell us about the project. So I think that you're gonna be in for a treat here. We are at the residences at 1428 Brickle at our beautiful new sales gallery. And we know that real estate is about location, location, location. And the truth is, is that 1428 Brickle is in the best location mm -hmm. in Brickle, in my opinion. It is, you know, you have the best of both worlds because you are close enough where if you want to walk towards the south, you're going to have the breathability of the tree-lined streets. Mm -hmm. But we are close enough at the beginning of the northern part of Brickle that we will be able to walk to all of the lifestyle that Brickle has to offer without being in the center of it. Yep. You have a lot of access through our location because we literally have the expressway two blocks away. Mm -hmm. So I really like that you have the residential feel, the beautiful Brickle feel with mm -hmm. all the amazing restaurants, the, the amazing luxury shopping, and we know we're in the, the banking and financial epicenter of Miami being in Brickell. Yeah, it's a very central location. Like you said, it's walking distance to Brickell City Center and Mary Brickell Village. everything that... Just, there's so yes. many different restaurants on Brickell Avenue itself, which is where this project's located. To exactly. have a Brickell Avenue address is, is super key 100%. for Brickell. So fantastic beginnings. So tell us more about the developers. So the developer is Ytech and the head of Ytech mm -hmm. is Yamal Yirios. And in my opinion, this company, which by the way has been around in development for over 16 years here in Miami, mm -hmm. I truly believe that they are visionaries in this market. And Mr. Yirios has a true passion for Brickle and he really wants to maintain that classic elegance the luxury that Brickell was always, has always been known for. Sort of, you know, I, I don't like to mention other buildings, but I will mention a building called Santa Maria. And after so many years, this building Santa Maria, that's been there since 1996, mm -hmm. is one of those buildings that still is considered so prestigious, yep. holds its value. And that is what 1428 Brickell is going to be mm -hmm. for Brickell Avenue. But back to the developer, bought the land in 2017 at an amazing price. It has a pre appreciated so much throughout the years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we bought it for close to nothing compared to what land goes for nowadays in Brickell. Yeah. And I truly believe he is a visionary because uh, this building is something very, very special. The team behind this developer, I think, is absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, we'll be able to talk about the architects and, and the team that, that he has behind him because not only is he an amazing developer, but I think he was very smart to, to gather the team that he has mm -hmm. here. You kind of hinted about the architects. I mean, one of the things that like I'm, I'm super excited about this development mainly because of the design and mainly because of the finishes the finishes and the audience will see a little bit later when yes. we see the, the 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 model kitchen model bathroom and all that um the finishes are hands down the best i've seen in I agree any with of the you. new projects and and i think that has a lot to do with who our architects are Mm -hmm. Our architects are not only the architects of the exterior, but they are the interior designers of the entire project. Mm -hmm. And thanks to that, we are going to have this continuous fluid design throughout the property. And their names are Antonio Citerio and mm -hmm. Patricia Veal. Their company is based out of Milan. They have the largest design firm in Milan called ACPV Architects. Mm -hmm. And what I love about them is the true holistic approach that they take to designing these residences. They design the buildings from the inside out around the people that are going to be living in them. Um, just like the amenities, you know, we have over 80,000 square feet of amenities, which is quite a lot for a mm -hmm. building like this. 
but they truly feel more like an extension of your home than just an amenity anywhere else in any other building. And the architect also did Arte, correct? And yes, our side, architects, is... um, again, are Italian. They live in Milan, and we were lucky enough to meet them, our developer. And you mm -hmm. know, one of the reasons why I say he's a visionary is he really wanted us to get you know, the experience for this project, the passion that he has for this project. And he sent us all to Italy um, to meet our architects, to go to all the showrooms where all our finishes are mm -hmm. coming from. Everything is Italian here, uh, as far as everything that we are using to, to finish out the building. But they... Uh, Antonio Citerio and Patricia Vale, they did Arte Surfside here in Miami, mm. all of the Bulgari hotels throughout the world. Mm. Their latest one now is in Tokyo, the Mandarin in Milan, beautiful buildings all over Asia, the Middle mm. East, um, Europe, and North America. And this will be their second building here in Miami. They could have worked with any developer mm. and they you know, decided to work with Ytech because of you know, the vision that Mr. Yidios has for Brickle and for this building. Yeah, I mentioned Arte because it's probably one of the biggest success stories on the beach since, you know, since in the past five years. I agree. The, the, the attention to detail there is, is remarkable and that's why it sold so well. It sold so well and there was recently an article that mm -hmm. it was actually the most expensive boutique building to sell in Miami. Oh, yeah. So we it. definitely reference that building when we mm. talk about Antonio Chiterio and Patricia Vale, without mm. a doubt. Great. And how about the interior finishes? What can the audience members so um, expect? The building is a 70-story tower, but there's only 189 luxury residences. Mm. We don't have any one bedrooms. Mm -hmm. You're looking at floor plans ranging from two bedrooms to four plus dens. And then we have our penthouse collection. They come completely finished. And what I mean by that is your flooring comes done and wait until you see how beautiful the flooring is. Your closets come done. Of course, your kitchens, your beautiful bathrooms are all finished absolutely amazingly well. And you'll see that uh, in a little while, but everything comes completely finished. And it's almost like having, you know, this designer, Antonio Chiterio, uh, Chiterio design just for you, mm -hmm. you know, because the moment that you close on your apartment, you're going to be able to move in. All you'll need is your furniture. And it's really like having this amazing, famous designer design your residence mm -hmm. for you, you know, because they handpicked every single finish, the travertine marble floors with the mm -hmm. bronze inlays in between yeah. the beautiful travertine marble walls in your master bathroom. And by the way, I think that you'll notice when you see some of our renderings and the finishes, how everything is curved mm -hmm. and how, you know, everything was just beautifully planned from the exteriors to the interiors, to the residences, to all of the common areas. And how about the depth of the balconies and also the height of the ceilings? So, so those are some great bullet points. Mm -hmm. By the way, our floor plans range from eight, 1,800 square feet to over 10,000 square feet, not including the balconies, and the balconies are fabulous here. Mm -hmm. Minimum depth for our balconies are 12 feet. Some wow. of them are even deeper than that, but we have summer kitchens in every mm -hmm. balcony. Our uh, ceiling heights are a minimum of 11 feet, then they jump to 12 feet depending on the floor that you are on. We have solid concrete walls that divide every single residence, so not only does it drown out any noise from a neighbor, but many of our floor plans do not have any columns as a result of these solid concrete walls. That is not very common. Mm -hmm. We have eight elevator banks for only 189 mm -hmm. residences, so two elevators arrive at each person's private foyer. That's and true. details like these, I think, really distinguish us from other buildings. Mm -hmm. And, you know, all of this was very well thought out. We didn't just start sales overnight. They did a lot of research throughout the years, over five years worth of research, visited luxury buildings throughout the world, five-star hotels, visited with many architects. And, and you know that's how they decided on ACPB Architects, but that's also how they decided to implement all of these special details. Another reason why I say our developer is such a visionary is because we are the first luxury residential building in the world that is integrating 500 panels of photovoltaic mm -hmm. glass into the western facade of this building, creating a solar backbone. So that in itself is very, very special. And I am probably 
forgetting you know several details and hopefully i i will think about it as you ask me questions mm -hmm. but you know this building we're also known for uh we will be known for that privacy aspect so although you're in the city although you're in brickle you're going to see how we have beautiful botanical gardens not only at the ground level but in our different amenity floors throughout mm -hmm. the building so you're truly going to feel like if you're in your own private oasis we also have a guardhouse entrance so the you know the guests that come to visit the owner will have to stop there first luckily the owners will not only have that main entrance through brickle avenue but they will also have a second private entrance just for them is that other private entrance on the west side correct okay so they're able to come in through the east side on brickle avenue or through the west or side. the west exactly okay. and i think that that's a huge plus yeah definitely and another unique feature that 1428 has that i really love are the lofts how many lofts total are in the building. That's a great uh, thing that you reminded me of. So we have several different types of floor plans. We have the two-story mm -hmm. floor plans that are absolutely gorgeous and those range from 2,315 square feet interior space up to over 7,000 square feet. Wow. They are amazingly beautiful. Every single residence here faces directly east, by the way. Mm -hmm. But then we also have flow-through residences that not only have the eastern exposure, but they also have the west exposure and they are corners. So you have views facing north or south from those corners. And then we have the one-story residences. But everyone here faces directly east. The views are phenomenal because you have the best of both worlds, in my opinion. You have mm. these amazing skyline views where at nighttime it looks like a jewelry box, um, but then you also have amazing bay views. So you really have that city feel and the tranquil feel of the water mixed with all of our beautiful landscape. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just a plus all around. And how many of those duplexes do you have total in the building, approximately? I don't want to put you on the spot. I, well, you are a little bit because I haven't counted, but... Um, I would say... Like 25% of the building? Yes, I would Something say 25% like that. of the building. Okay. That's right. Yeah, and like I said, I mean, it's a very unique selling feature because the lofts, you don't see them in a lot of buildings. What I really like about these is that they're, they're wide. The yes. lofts that are, have been done in Brickell, the living rooms are so, so narrow that they're not really like functional living rooms. No, these are homes these are. in the sky. Yeah. And you're absolutely right about that. I think our floor plans are magnificent. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times you have a great master bedroom, but then your other bedrooms are, are very small. Yep. All of that was thought out in advance. And again, our finishes make this building very, very special. It's very sophisticated, very elegant, mm -hmm. but very livable. You know, this is ultra luxury, but ultra livable at the same time. And you, most of the units also include a storage room, correct? You have, in every single private foyer, mm -hmm. there will be a storage, which I think is fantastic because if you have a delivery and you're not home, for okay. instance, the porter can bring it up for mm -hmm. you and put it away for you in your storage. There's even a cold storage compartment. So if you have groceries, mm -hmm. they'll be able to put it away. And even if you're gone for hours, it will be nice and cold when you get home. Mm -hmm. And then eventually we will have storage for sale. But in every single private foyer, you have a designated storage area for, you know, deliveries and dry cleaning and mm -hmm. all of that type of thing. Fantastic. And you mentioned earlier about the 80,000 square feet of amenities. Yes. Where, which floors are the amenities located on and what so do they entail? So that's a great question because our amenities are located throughout the building, starting at the ground level. Mm -hmm. So, you know, starting from the lobby, I should say. Yep. And you'll be able to have food and beverage service in any of the amenity spaces. You know, starting at the lobby with our beautiful aperitivo bar and, okay. and library lounge. Then the amenities jump to the eighth floor where we have one of our pools, beautiful cabanas, beautiful lush landscaping. Um, of course, you'll have service there. Then you have an indoor area on the eighth floor where you have a theater room. You have a beautiful Imaginarium Center for kids. I'd say that's the more family-friendly area mm -hmm. of our amenities. Um, you have, you know, gorgeous areas to sit more privately or publicly, uh, pavilions for private events, all on the eighth floor. Then from there, we have two guest suites on the 10th floor, which are absolutely okay. fantastic. I think that's an added bonus. So if you have family or friends coming to visit you, they could stay in one of these okay. guest suites versus a hotel or your apartment. And then we have 
the rest of the amenities at the top of the building. And I think that that was a great move because instead of making these penthouses, they decided to give the best um, you know, square footage back to the owners. Mm -hmm. So we have an amazing wellness club on the 66th floor, which is nice. 10,000 square feet, a beautiful spa, um, treatment rooms, even a beauty salon and you have a sports simulator and then you have mm -hmm. an entire section that is all techno gym and that i didn't know but is it also italian as mm -hmm. well we went to their yep. flagship store when we were in milan then from there we go to the 67th floor owners club and you have a beautiful chef's dining room for private dinner parties a wine cellar where every single owner will have their mm -hmm. own locker to be able to store wine and uh, the business center is at that level as well You'll see all of those renderings. And then lastly, we have our second pool at the rooftop level. Mm -hmm. You also have a beautiful area to have a bottle of wine, a bowl of pasta, and it, during the day, enjoy that gorgeous pool at the 70th floor level. And remember, our ceiling heights here are a minimum of 11 feet, then they jump to 12 feet, and some even mm -hmm. higher than that. So, you know, our typical floors is not the same as in any other building. No. We are so your much higher. Your floor might be like 76 or something like correct. 77. Correct, correct. That's like mm -hmm. 850 feet above the ground. Yeah. And you mentioned Santa Maria earlier. What you detailed about the amenities is kind of what, exactly what Santa Maria did. They, uh, their, their fitness center and their wellness center is up on the top, the top of the building. Exactly. Whereas most developers will sell that off at the highest price, price per square correct. foot because that's the, those are penthouse views. Exactly. Whereas, um, this developer and also the Santa Maria developer came back, came back to space really, back to the residents. And and that's a great point because he that really is the most important point mm -hmm. for our developer, where the owners will really feel at home yep. and really you know be able to use these spaces as if they were part of their home, an extension of their home, as I said mm -hmm. earlier. But definitely some a developer to look out for. He has a two billion dollar portfolio has bought land throughout all of Florida. Um, a, a lot of other exciting things are coming. Nice. Um, he owns land throughout Texas and all over the United States. Mm -hmm. And again, we already have $100 million in equity to start construction. The building that exists at 1428 right now will be knocked down at the end of the summer. Okay. And the building will start construction by end of year and we will be finished by the end of 2026, give or take. So one of the biggest selling features of this building, for me at least, are the finishes. And you mentioned earlier that there's, on the second floor, a showroom. With Absolutely. Model bathroom, model living room, kitchen. And gorgeous kitchen. You know, we are a, you know, and, and we'll, you know, you'll see that now in person, but we truly are a collection of brands here, mm -hmm. you know. And every single one of these brands, Art Linea, Remedesio, the beautiful flooring from Antolini and Salvatore and, you know, all of the stones that we're using here. You know, we are truly a collection of brands. Wait until you see this kitchen. You know, these are, you know, this kitchen company has been around for 90 years in Italy. And not only is it a beautiful kitchen, but they are chef quality kitchens. That Remedesio glass that encloses your kitchen from the rest of the mm -hmm. apartment. If you're having a formal dinner party, you leave it closed. If it's if you are more casual, entertaining, you leave it open. But you know these are just fantastic details that I honestly do not see in in condominiums. And I've been selling pre-construction mm -hmm. now for over 20 years. But these are finishes that I would find more in a beautiful home than I yep. would in True. a condominium building. Yep. So if you don't mind, do you mind giving Let's go. the audience I would a love tour? To. And I want you all to come and see it in yes. person as well. I'm excited. Great. Okay, Jennifer, so here we are. This is the elevator floor. This replicates yes. what people can expect coming home. Two elevators Correct. to the private foyer. To the private foyer. The only thing that is not in this foyer right, right now, because we are in a sales gallery, a makeshift mm -hmm. apartment, is the storage that okay. will be in that area for the mm -hmm. deliveries. Another thing I want to mention quickly is that we are in a 98 year old home called the Nolan House. It's a historic home here in Miami and the developer bought this land and the house and this is where we have made our sales gallery. But since it is an old home, our ceiling heights in the sales gallery do not replicate in all 
you know, in all of the places, the 11 foot ceiling minimums that we're going to have here. So please keep that in mind when you are, are looking around with us. Definitely. And then another thing to point out is the curved columns here. Oh, yes. And those, uh, the, the, the attention to detail is, is, is incredible. incredible. And, and so, these curved columns mm -hmm. you'll find throughout the entire building in the common areas and in different areas, including the yep. exterior with the curved glass. That's very important, and we'll show them that in the master bathroom. Definitely. So why okay. don't you come on in with us? Okay. Great. These are your double door glass entries. And behind us here, like, like you said, we're in a 98-year-old building, but this first, this I guess, first ceiling framing, height here correct. is... Correct. Mm -hmm. These are the 11-foot ceilings. Okay. So that's the what frame, people can expect. Correct. That's the minimum. The minimum. The frame that you see around this sales, you know, this mm -hmm. living room, we'll call it. The flooring here. Please take note of how beautiful the yes. flooring. These are travertine marble slabs. And in between each slab of, of marble, you're going to see these amazing bronze inlays. And that is your flooring throughout the entire residence. And over here to the right, we have the kitchen, correct? Yes. Which can be closed like we have it here. You can or leave it closed or open, open like it. you're doing. Mm -hmm. So if you're entertaining and your guests want to kind of have a peek into the kitchen, you can leave it wide open. Correct. Or if you have a private chef, you can close it. And Correct. So the smells you're... of what you're mm -hmm. cooking don't linger through the residence. Um, and if it's more casual, many times mm -hmm. people gather around the kitchen. So in the kitchen, your ceiling heights are this up here. Um, we're holding up, up correct. Yeah. We're holding up the roof for the Nolan house, um, and that's why we have this column. But normally, you will not have any columns in the kitchen. But mm -hmm. take a peek of how beautiful these Arc Linea kitchens are. Again, chef quality kitchen. So you have two sinks. You can prep your food in one, wash mm -hmm. your dishes in the other, and it's awesome because as you prep your food, you can scoot this over as you go. Oh, nice. You know, and, mm -hmm. and the same thing. Um, the kitchen here, it varies in size. We have mm -hmm. kitchens that are a lot bigger than this to okay. give you an idea. But again, we had to make do with the space that we had here at the sales gallery. But this is all beautiful Pietra gray marble. Um, all of the wood that you see here is a beautiful white oak. There are wine coolers yeah, in every wine single cooler kitchen. Here. Gaganau appliances, which are top of the line yes. appliances travertine marble backsplash it's just an amazing beautiful kitchen and you know the the floor plans as they vary so do the kitchens and we have dimensions of every single kitchen whether it's a two bedroom or a four plus den we have mm -hmm. the exact dimensions and the exact layout as to what goes in your kitchen excellent as to how your kitchen will look i should say and what other features should be noted for the audience at home well, the beautiful detail. I love, for instance, uh, in the island, many times you gather in the, uh, in the kitchen with, when you're at home mm -hmm. with your family, you don't eat at a dining room table. And sure. I love that at the island, you can mm. rest your feet. There's a place to, to put your feet at the bottom of oh, the really? island. Nice. Um, the detail of the drawers, mm -hmm. look how you, the handles oh, wow. here, the G-bar, I think that's called. You know, oh, nice. but all of these details come in the kitchens and again this kitchen company has been around for 90 years but antonio citerio has custom designed this kitchen for 1428 brickle so again just mm -hmm. like the closets he has custom designed those closets for um 1428 brickle there is a lot of custom things done here whether it's a super known company like arc linea mm -hmm. it still has been custom you know made for us and how about the master bath? You the master right? bath is absolutely gorgeous. A model gorgeous. master bath here as well? Oh my God, we have a model master bathroom, so you'll be able to join us there as well. Let's go take a look. So this is the master bath? Yes. This is our master bathroom, and I happen to think it's heavenly. Um, notice the beautiful travertine curved walls. You know, this is something that is very hard to do. You don't see that in, in, you don't in see that. 99% of the developments out there. The travertine marble vanities, you'll mm -hmm. have his and hers. Again, we're just displaying what the finishes are like, but you know, this mm -hmm. isn't necessarily exactly 
you know, the square footage of the master bathroom. Uh, also, the walk-in shower, you have two double shower heads, okay. and, and you will have, this will close completely. We just have it open to display in the sales gallery. And there will be doors here as well? Yes. You'll coming have into the bathroom? Double door, okay. glass doors that are frosted, that are gorgeous, framed by the beautiful bronze that mm -hmm. you see in the inlays. Um, but I think that, you know, one of the most important thing that we have seen by seeing some of these finishes is that how cohesive and seamless mm -hmm. it really is. Linear diffusers throughout the apartment. So here in the master bathroom, you will have the two beautiful vanity yeah. sinks. You will have on either side of the walk-in shower, you'll have this, again, this beautiful tub in the middle of the shower, but it's a beautiful wet area. Mm -hmm. And on either side of the walk-in shower, you're going to have two water closets, okay. two smart toilets. And I think that that's a, a huge plus as well. And this is in every single master bathroom. Wow, yeah, it's a very spacious shower. Yes. Beautiful. Thank you. Well, Jennifer, thank you very much for showing me around. And, and of course, my audience, the project turned, is looking phenomenal. Thank the, you. The details are remarkable, like I mentioned. So it's a very impressive project. What kind of deposit schedule do you have for the buyers at home that may be interested? So we are in the pre-construction phase, mm -hmm. which is the best time to buy, in my opinion, because you have best pricing. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You have the best pricing and you have the opportunity to pick the floor that you want, the type of residence you want. And you, as we know, are an expert. And by the way, I wanted to say thank you to thank being you. here. Um, and you loving this project, I think, really mm -hmm. is a testament to how amazing it's going to be. But mm -hmm. the deposit schedule, as, as you were asking, we are now in contracts, mm -hmm. and it is a 10% deposit with contract, and then the rest of the deposits go as the timing goes, but it's a total deposit of 40%, okay. and then you can finance or pay cash for the remaining balance of the 60%. Mm -hmm. But it's a good breakdown as okay. far as the deposits go. And when is groundbreaking expected? We will be starting construction, I would say in at the end of October, beginning okay. of November. And remember the reason for that is, is because we first have to knock down mm -hmm. the existing building and that starts at the end of the summer. Okay, great. So things are moving along. Yes. And estimated completion date? End of 2026. Okay. And for pricing, what are prices starting out at for the, the different ah, good um, question. floor plans? We hadn't talked about that. Yeah. So our prices start at 2.4 Okay. for our two bedrooms, which mm -hmm. again are 1,800 square feet. And remember, that's for a fully finished product. That's a duplex or that's... That is the story. two plus den, three full baths. It's not the duplex. Okay. The duplex starts at around 3.5. Okay. Our three bedrooms that are 2,800 square feet interior mm -hmm. start at around 3.7. Okay. And, and then the four plus dens that start at 3,500 square feet minimum start from 5 million and up. Fantastic. And then, you know, and, and we get bigger as we go. Great. Is there anything else before we sign out? What, um, anything else you'd like to add about the project? Well, I just want to say, you know, and I think that they'll see that when they see, you know, the sales gallery, but I do truly believe that this is a project that you got to come in and really mm -hmm. get a presentation because there is so much detail that we probably won't be able to cover in one quick video. True. So definitely reach out to Lucas and and you know, make an appointment to come in and, and get a private presentation and really see it in person. If this is you know, an area that you wanna be in, which again is one of the best areas, you're in the center of all of Miami here and, and so close to everything, a lot of great local transportation as well. Um, so you know, there's just a lot of details and, mm -hmm. and that's really what I would say is to really bring, you know, come in or we could talk to them via Zoom if they're not in Miami. And, and let's see what they want to buy. Let's see what they're interested in. Great. Sounds like a great plan. Yes. So thank you very much, Jennifer, for being on the show. I really appreciate you taking the time out for myself and the audience and um, sharing with everybody what a remarkable project this is. Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. 
If you have an interest in purchasing a unit at 1428 Brickell, contact me via email at lucas at miamicondoinvestments.com or you can call me at 786-247-6332. Thank you for watching and be sure before you leave to comment, like, and subscribe down below.